My name is Luke Pound, I'm 33 years old and I race the Aston Martin V8 Vantage GT4 for Team Brit. My name's Andy Tucker, I drive for Team Brit. I'm 34 years old and I race the Aston Martin GT4. Basically I've always been into, into motorsport. Sort of my earliest memories are probably, what, 95 when Colin McRae won the World Rally Championship and then 96 when Damon Hill won the F1 Championship. Never thought I'd really do any any motor racing myself. Never really done any karting or anything that, like that when I was younger. Um, it was just, yeah, uh, always something I wanted to do, but never, yeah, just never, never ever thought that I'd actually uh, end up doing it. I actually started karting when I was around seven years old, um, carried that on up until I was about 19 years old. Moved away from that then and started singing in a heavy metal band. Um, I was on my way to band practice one day and I got knocked off my motorcycle by a gentleman that was road raging. Um, he'd actually already hit me once on the left hand side and then decided to drive straight at me on purpose. Um, so yeah, I then spent six and a half to seven years in and out of hospital having various different surgeries, treatments, therapies, seeing mental health specialists uh, and got completely fed up of living a, a boring mundane life where I was literally just waiting around on the next operation or the next bit of therapy that I was waiting for. 2011, I had a uh, motorbike accident. Uh, just going on on my way in from work so a uh, kid walked out in front of me with his push bike uh, i had to swerve to miss him and uh crashed into some metal railing so it was well god knows how many years of in and out of hospital having operations and that uh, and now i managed to get back on a motorbike where what was that about five six years ago now and yeah i thought done that so i thought i'd leave that put that to bed for a little bit and uh, try and try and do some uh, four wheel action and that. So I uh, started looking around for track days. I didn't want to do these sort of driving experience things, I wanted to do proper track days and that. So I um, started looking around and then it was 2019 when I, I actually saw there was a job ad advertised for Team Brit. So I just had a quick nose about and obviously saw that they're disabled race team and it was perfect timing that in 2019 that they started up their academy. So got in contact with them pretty much straight away and within about a month, I ended up doing my first track day with them. Uh, that was November, 2019. And done my second day with them uh, in January, 2020. And then done my race license in February, 2020. I decided to look around on the internet and see if there was any therapy that revolved around motorsport, because obviously the karting in my younger years, thought maybe I can get back into it and see if there's anything I can do. Um, so I then found Team Brit online on their Facebook page, had a little look around and saw that they got the hand control technology and I thought, brilliant, you know, considering I just had a surgery on my, my right leg, that was what I needed to go and race a car. So I emailed the team after watching a 20 minute documentary on them. I said, hey guys, you know, I'm really interested in, in motorsport. Is there anything that I can do with the team at the moment? Um, do you need any drivers? And they said, well, actually, we've got an academy. So three years later, well, almost four years later now, um, racing for the team, I started off in a BMW 116, moved up to a BMW 240 last year and came third in the championship, and then started racing the Aston Martin this year. So, yeah, it's been, been crazy. I've always loved Aston Martins growing up, uh, so I've always wanted to own one. So to actually be racing one now is uh, yeah, so that's pretty, pretty special. Being part of the team, racing, uh, the fact that they've stepped up from, you know, started in the academy and stepped up through through the BMW and and then now into the Aston Martin shows that there's a there's a path and um, the fact that you know sort of team want me stepping up as well shows that sort of I'm doing something right so that's always always a plus. It was my dad that got me into cars. It was my dad that got me into you know karting. He take me every single weekend um, and he's. He's just a massive petrol head. He's always been into his cars. We go to all sorts of different car rallies. I've never really thought that anything's impossible. It's always just been about um, sort of getting the right opportunity with, with anything, really. You know, no matter whether you're disabled or not, it's, you know, if you can sort of open up the sort of right avenues and you know, sometimes it's all about timing. Sometimes you need a bit of luck. Everything's always possible. Never say never until there is a uh, sort of, I'm in my coffin. <laughs> the best way of describing Team Brit is it is a family and it's just 
the bond between everyone, it's not even just the drivers. You know, we have such a good time together on and off track. We're always able to have a laugh and a joke with each other, but we always take it really serious when we're out on track as well. Granted, we've all got different disabilities, but it really doesn't matter. We come together and we can have a laugh just like anyone else. None of us allow our disabilities to get in the way. You know, we just want to go out and race and, and be taken seriously while we're out there. And I think we're at the stage now where people are starting to think, oh, crap, the disabled team's turned up and they're going to beat us again, rather than, oh, crap, it's the disabled team. You know, people out there do tend to notice more so because we're disabled, but we fly past them at 140 mile an hour and there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> Motivation, just uh, from myself, really just comes from being part of the team. Is um, I wouldn't really say I've, uh, I'm a massively, massively um, driven person. The majority of my life, I sort of just plodded along and sort of gone with the flow. Um, and yeah, just try and take your opportunities when they arise. I think biggest achievement so far Okay, we've had first place, we've had second place, we've had third place, but taking the Driver of the Weekend Award home at Brands Hatch last year, that was massive for me because it was a physical reminder that disability really doesn't matter in the world of motorsport. People with disabilities, you've normally got a separate uh, sort of side to it. So you obviously got the Olympics or you've got the Paralympics with people with disabilities or people with disabilities are not really competing against any uh, able-bodied uh, people. With motorsport, there is no uh, difference, so it don't matter what gender or, or you know, whether you have a disability, you are competing you know, all together. If you're disabled and someone has told you that you can't do something, that's words. It's not actuality, it's not fact, it's just somebody's words. You can go out there and do whatever the hell you want to do. It's just finding how you're going to do it with your disability. So don't ever let anyone hold you back. And if someone does try to hold you back, stick your middle finger up at them, tell them to jog on and just push on. Being the only Welsh driver for the team um, and being the first Welsh disabled driver to actually race at Le Mans would be epic. But then also to be part of Team Brit and do that as well and share it with Bobby, Luke, Aaron and everyone else. You know, it's, it's, it's something that we all really, really want. You know, there's no ifs or buts, we want to race at Le Mans. Is my disability a superpower in any way, shape or form? No. Is my mentality? Hell yeah. <laughs>